are out there saying climate is a hoax or this is all nonsense or, or whatever, young people and independents look at that and, and just have a filter where it says, okay, if you're on that side of it, I'm not even going to consider voting for you. Even if it's not like a top issue, it just reflects on how you view things like basic science. And if Republicans don't talk about this in a way that does not make them look crazy to the average young person or the average independent, they are going to lose a voting block that they possibly will never recover. Climate protesters. Climate protests. For climate protesters. We can't eat money or drink oil. What is worth more? We're not doing this because it's fun. You have stolen my dreams and my childhood. Blocking traffic is disruptive. What is going to be way more disruptive are the effects of climate breakdown. It is time to just stop oil. My name is Chris Barnard. I'm the president of the American Conservation Coalition. We're the largest conservative environmental organization in the United States, and we exist to re-embrace the kind of Teddy Roosevelt legacy of conservation and show that conservatives not only care, but we have good ideas to offer as well. The data is very clear that climate change and environmental issues are a top three priority for young people. And it's not just like a left wing versus right wing thing. If you look at young Republicans under 35, over 80% of them think climate change is an important issue that we should be doing something about. If they're not talking about climate and environmental issues, Republicans are setting themselves up for a long-term generational electoral failure simply because of how many young people care about this. And over half the country now considers itself an independent voter. Uh, party affiliation is going way down. And if you look at the 2020 election, there's a study from the University of Colorado recently that actually found that the number one predictor of independents voting for Biden over Trump in 2020 was caring about climate change. A lot of young people, a lot of independents nowadays care a lot about environmental issues and climate issues. That's exceedingly obvious and clear from the polling and the data. But they're also being turned off by kind of the far left progressive approach to that climate protesters that are blocking traffic or throwing tomato soup at paintings or shutting down nuclear plants. Like most people that care about this issue are like, whoa, whoa, that does not represent me. That's super extreme. And that gives an opening for conservatives to come in and say, look, we care about this issue and we actually care about it so much that we want to have better ideas and better solutions that actually do something about it. Because of conservative disengagement, the only ideas that young people are hearing are these kind of Green New Deal type ideas from the left. And if you give young people a choice between bad ideas or no ideas at all, they're probably still going to choose bad ideas, right? And so that's really why why we exist as an organization is to, to, to show young people that, look, as conservatives, we do care and we have better ideas. And here's how we should go about them in a way that doesn't destroy the economy, doesn't increase American reliance on China, doesn't make people's lives harder, but actually unleashes innovation, makes energy prices go down, makes the country healthier and safer for future generations. Um, that's the message that young people want to hear.